In Creole Parametric, if you go to the Draft drop-down menu, there is a command for a variable pull direction draft. And this got introduced around Wildfire 5.0 or so, and I wanted to do a video of this, and I wanted to research the different use cases for it, and tire treads are a big case for that one, and that got me thinking about the toroidal bend feature. This video is not about variable pull direction draft. It's about the toroidal bend, and the next video will be on the variable pull direction draft. Let's take a look at how to create a toroidal bend, which is available from the engineering overflow menu. And the first word is toroidal, which is based off the word torus. Think of a donut shape. That is a torus. The toroidal bend allows you to take geometry and essentially turn it into sort of a revolved feature. So here I have a part. It's basically an extrude. It's like a extruded rectangle and then a bunch of extruded circles patterned on it. And I want to take this and use a toroidal bend on it. So to do that, again, I will go to the engineering overflow menu and then choose toroidal bend. And here in the interface, you can see that the references tab is in red. One thing that, one thing that you need is the profile section that defines the shape of the feature as you are turning it into sort of that revolved shape. And here you have the choice of what you want to bend. You can select quilts or curves, or you can select solid geometry, and it will end up getting the whole entire part. But I still need to define my profile section. If I click the define button, I can create an internal sketch directly inside of the feature. So I will select the surface for my sketch plane. And it's got the orientation reference of the bottom surface facing the bottom. That's good. Let's click the sketch button to get into sketch mode. One thing that is required is a geometry coordinate system. So, so I will choose the coordinate system command from the datum group. And I'm going to drop it in right over here. Now I can hit the middle mouse button to get out of the coordinate system command. I'm going to define the shape that I want to bend the geometry around in this plane. Let me go to the sketch view. And I'm going to start off by sketching a line. And I'm going to let it snap right to the midpoint of that geometry. Let me hit the middle mouse button. And now I want to put in an arc. And instead of using the regular three-point tangent end arc, I'm going to use the center and ends arc. And because I'm in Creole Parametric 6.0, it's snapping into my pre-existing geometry. Let me start it from here. I'm going to make a 90-degree arc. Let's snap it over there. I automatically get a radius dimension. In this case, I actually want the arc length. I happen to know that this is six units long, and I want this to be exactly 1.5 units in arc length. So to create that dimension, I'll go to the dimension command. And then if you pick the arc, and then one endpoint, and then another endpoint, and then locate the dimension with your middle mouse button, you will get an arc length dimension. I have a video that goes through all the various different dimensioning techniques in sketch mode. So that is good for that dimension. Now let me throw in one more vertical line. About so long. Let's also go to the dimension command, which I can get to from the mini toolbar. And since the line was still selected, it automatically gives me a dimension for that entity. So that is good for the profile that I'm going to bend the geometry around over here. To get out of sketch mode, I can hold down the right mouse button and click on the check mark. So here you can see how it is bending the geometry around that particular profile. It's also bending all of this into, again, that sort of like toroidal or torus or donut shape. Right now we're using a bend radius and it's giving a really big value of 360. Let's make this much lower, 150. And there you can see it's bending more. Let's go down even more, 50. 
and you can see as we lower the value it is becoming more and more rounded in there let's take a look at some of the other different options in here instead of bend radius you can also define a bend axis let's click on the bend axis command and I don't have an axis to select if you go to the right side of the dashboard there is a datum drop down menu that allows you to create datum features on the fly and these will be embedded inside of the feature so let's click on the datum axis icon and let me see I need to turn on my plane display right now my planes are hidden on a layer so I'm gonna to go to the layer tree and show my default datums layer and for the datum axis that I am creating I'm gonna have it be normal to this datum plane and then for my offset references I'm going to dimension it from the same surface that my sketch coordinate system was located in let's change that to a value of zero and the other thing that I'm going to dimension it from let me hold down the control key and select this other datum plane over here I'm not going in the other direction let's do a value of negative 20 so that way I'm getting an axis over here that the geometry is going to be bent about let me click the OK button to get out of the datum axis command because I was creating a datum in the middle of a feature the dashboard for the toroidal bend is paused let's resume it and now you can see how it is using that particular datum axis as the reference let's hit the check mark to complete the feature if I expand the toroidal bend in the model tree here we have that profile section that I sketched on the fly as well as that datum axis that was created inside of the feature and it is automatically hidden let's take a look at a second example using very similar geometry I'm going to go to another part over here and this one has some geometry in there that I tried to make look sort of like a tire tread let's create another toroidal bend from the engineering overflow menu this time I'm going to use the right mouse button to get my pop-up menu and I'm going to choose that I want to bend the solid geometry I can also right mouse click and hold and right now the profile section is selected in here let's click on define internal sketch and I'm gonna create a sketch just like the one I did before can hit the middle mouse button to close the sketch dialog box and get into sketch mode let's drop in a coordinate system let's go to our sketch view and once again I'm going to sketch in a line let it snap to the midpoint if it will where's the midpoint there it goes let's create our center and ends arc let it snap to 90 degrees create our dimension up oh, let me get deselect everything and go to dimension again pick the arc pick one endpoint pick the other endpoint by the way I'm not holding down the control key when I do that and then middle mouse button and change this to 1.5 hit the middle mouse button to get out of dimension mode and then from the right mouse button menu I can sketch my other line drag it down and with that line still selected if I click on the dimension icon I'll get a length dimension for that line so again same profile as I did before let's use the right mouse button to get out of sketch mode and once again it is using bend radius by default let's take a look at the third option in here we can do a 360 degree bend we get two more collectors we're going where we are going to select two flat planar surfaces that we're going to bend around to touch each other so I will select this surface on the part let's rotate around and grab the opposite surface All right, took a few seconds there to think and there we have something that looks like 
a tire revolved around 360 degrees. Let me go to the options tab. I just want to show you that if you choose to bend curves, there are some other additional options in here. There's the standard option, which is selected by default. And then there are these other options to preserve length in the angular direction or keep flat and co contract or keep flat and expand. Again, that only applies if you have curves selected over here in this collector and from the properties tab you can change the name of the feature if you want but i am happy with this so i can hit the middle mouse button which is the same as the green check mark on the dashboard the feature is completed and of course you can select the top node in the model tree and then choose mirror and pick a surface to mirror about and then middle mouse button to complete the feature and in that way I have what looks like a big rugged tire created I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.